need a bodyboard right over here, man. <laughs> right over here. Congratulations, man. That was a good one. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. We still got some time at the Gamers Exchange. Allies. Friends are allies. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with another pickups. So, uh, the clip you recently saw was uh, me uh, winning the TNC Surf Design Tournament. I, I think I mentioned last pickups, if whoever watched it or even remembers, uh, I mentioned I was going to be in a TNC Surf Design Tournament. And I won. <laughs> I won by a lot. Like, uh, I don't know if the people that signed up even knew what they were game they were playing. They sure as hell didn't look like it. But um, yeah, I felt like I was the only one who really prepared for that. And I won a bodyboard or a boogie board or whatever. Um, if you guys don't know what TNC Surf Design is, it's a Nintendo game. Skating and surfing. Um, apparently nobody likes surfing levels. Like That's like my favorite because I am the bomb. I just, honestly, I could just go forever on that level. Like I just rack up points. That's all I do is rack up points. That's how I won eventually. But um, Anyways, I just want to tell you that if you guys didn't know what the hell that clip was. Um, so let me just show you these pickups really quick. It's just straight up games. I'm um, in one comic. Um, I did find some comics at, at a thrift. You know, just some ones that kind of fill up, fill up the gaps in my collection. But one in particular is actually worth mentioning. Found it for a dollar. It is Iron Man 282. First appearance of War Machine. Yeah, uh, I had no idea this was the first appearance of War Machine. So, I saw it at the thrift. It was through all these comics and shit. And then, like, I found it was the only comic worth buying throughout all the boxes they had. And it was a dollar, and I didn't have a dollar on me. Like, I'm not going to use my credit card for a dollar. So, I was like, man, screw this. So, I just left it there. And then, somehow, I stumbled across somebody posted this on Instagram. I instantly... I recently made an Instagram account. All I do is just put pictures of video games and comics. That's all I do. I don't put pictures of me. I don't put pictures of shoes. Nothing. I just put pictures of comic books and video games. So I was just looking at other comic book and video game people. And some dude posted this up on his Instagram photo album, whatever. And uh, he was like, yeah, I just found this out of thrift for like 250 and it's the first appearance of War Machine, and I looked it up. Turns out this comic goes for, like, at least $20 online. So I, I went back the next day to the thrift with a dollar, and luckily it was still there, and I found it. So, copped it. Cool. I've never seen this cover. This is, I showed this to my boy, and he's like, man, that's a 90s cover right there. Like, that's what comic books are missing out today, man. Those old school, badass 90 co 90s comic covers. Um, I guess going with more current stuff. Um, I got some PS3 games, all cheap, all these were like under 10 bucks, so I got Anarchy Reigns, because it's, it's a beat-em-up, these are all complete, it's like Sega's beat-em-up, with like Sega characters or whatever, so I had to cop that, I finally got Uncharted 2, now I got all three, um, I, I beat, I actually beat the first one, which is pretty easy. Um, my first PS3 game I ever beat. Pretty much the first PS game I really played. And I finally got... I have not played this yet. So, um, yeah, I gotta get on that. Um, I found God of War Origins Collection. This is like two games from the PSP. Um, I don't collect portable gaming. I could care less about portable gaming. PSP, PS Vita, DS. I don't care about any of that shit. So when they came out with the PSP games for PS3... I had to cop, dude, because I want all the God of Wars. And then when they freaking put games, you know, in console, in handheld systems, I'm just like, whatever, dude. So that was good to get. I got Tekken 6, because Tekken is the bomb. One of the few fighters that's still good. They don't charge you for characters. So I can actually unlock every character here. So that's good. So I pretty much have all the Tekken except for Tekken 5. I still don't have Tekken 5. Alright, those are the PS3 games. I found um, one Wii game. NHL 2K10. 
Now, I don't buy sports games like this. Like, you will rarely ever see me buy sports games, for, especially for newer consoles. But I bought this because it had um, Alex Ovechkin, which is pretty much the best player on the Washington Capitals, which is my team, Washington, D.C. So I saw that and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it just for that. Just because it got good old gap missing tooth Ovechkin. And it was like $2.99, so... And I found these. These as well were $2.99. These were both complete and pretty much mint. Like, nobody's ever played them. Final Fantasy XII. And Medal of Honor Rising Sun. I keep seeing that. Like, I always see this at 3 and I never buy it because it's a Medal of Honor. It's a first-person war game, and so I never buy them. But this time I was like, you know what, man? Fuck it. Let me just cop this joint. Um... I got one Genesis game, which is a good one. Punisher. Finally got Punisher for the Genesis. I'm reunited. It's been like 17 years since I played this game. My friend had it back in the day, and he came over my house with a Nomad. And we hooked up the Nomad to my TV, my Genesis, and he played on the Nomad while I played on my TV. So, it was cool, man. I recently played it, and honestly, this game... I remember it looking a lot better, man. These graphics... <laughs> I used to think the graphics were a hell of a lot better. And me and my boy played and we are like, duh. It's still, a, it's still a good game. I don't know about that price, though. Alright. Um, I got me some Super Nintendo games. Let's see. First one. Izzy's Quest for the Olympic Rings. X-Zone. Lawnmower Man, Street Combat, uh, Daffy Duck, The Marvin Missions, and the last one is Yoshi Safari, so I do not have a Super Scope, but I will eventually get one. Um, now I got me some NES games, Cyberball. Bo Jackson Baseball. Uh, let's see. Shit. Finally got me some Dr. Chaos. Exodus Ultima. These are all pretty much complete. Xenophobe. I heard this game sucks. Finally got me another black box game. Slalom. Slalom. Slalom, Salem, Slalom. I don't know how the fuck you say that. Isn't that just skiing or something? Oh, whatever. But yeah, fine. This one's in good condition, man. I got this for cheaper than what it goes for online. So, I got a good price on that one. I got me eight eyes. Looks like, I haven't played this, but it looks good. I don't know. It looks like a pretty decent game. This is These are common games. They're not that expensive. They're cheap. Castle Quest. Looks like another pretty cool game. Common again. Um, Wizardry. This is heavy because it comes, I don't know, must have a big ass menu or something. So I got both Wizardries for the NES. And then I got Exevious, the Avenger. So, I actually haven't gotten time to play any of those, man. I just don't have time, man. I don't know. My schedule is crazy. And then the last two NES games um, is World Class Track Meet and Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet Combo. So these games technically, in real life, <laughs> did not come, they don't come with these boxes. Like these are custom made boxes. These were pack-in games where they came with, I think this came with the power pad or maybe, uh, yeah, I guess. And then this came with the console. Yeah, this came with the, when you bought like a system. So these really didn't have their own individual boxes, but there's somebody online that makes these, and these are like pretty much what the boxes would have looked like if they did come out. And so I don't want no loose stuff in my collection, so I got the two boxes. So, yeah, I got those two. Now the last stuff I want to show you is my Saturn games. I got some pretty nice Saturn games. Oh, ah, let's see. I have actually been have not been able to play any of these either, man. I just recently got these, so 
Um, I'm trying to build up my Saturn collection, bulk it up, beef it up. I'm, I'm pretty much going for a full Saturn collection. I mean, honestly, it's they're really not that expensive in the games. So, like, even the rarest one isn't really... Well, actually, correction. The most expensive one goes for like $1,000, I'm not going to lie. That is Daytona USA, the Netlink edition. Technically, I can get away without getting that one, but whatever. I'll get all the other ones. So, first one is a fighting game that I've wanted for a while, man. I got all of these for super cheap. Galaxy Fight, Sunsoft game. And all these are practically mint. So, honestly, this actually looks like a pretty cool uh, fighting game. Because, like, Sega Saturn has some pretty cool sprite, like, um, graphics. And I got Fighters Mega Mix, which um, I already had. I got these in a lot, and so this was a double, but this was more of an upgrade because uh, the one I originally had, the manual was sun faded like crap. So this and this this disc is way better. This disc is like mint. So this was pretty much an upgrade. I got Battle Arena Toshinden Remix, and then I got Battle Arena URA Ultimate Revenge Attack. Now, since I haven't played these, I don't know the difference, but I think this one is pretty much like the PS1 version, just a little different, slightly, like Remix. And then this one apparently says it has two new characters in different stages. So, or four new characters, I don't know. Um, so I think this one's a slightly different one, more different. Um, I got Brain Dead 13, which since I was a kid, been wanting to play this. I don't know, maybe it's because of the the uh, the cover, and like this is kind of like one of those animated games where it's like you just point in the direction of the cartoon goes. It's pretty stupid. I played this, and this game is fucking stupid. Like, on, if you're really looking for a game to play, just don't even get this. This game is fucking dumb, dude. I tried. I I just couldn't get into it. It's stupid. Uh, this was a game I wanted for a long time. I didn't even know this game existed on the Saturn. Well, actually, I didn't even know this game existed, period. Turns out, I thought it was just on the Saturn, but it's also for the PS1. I had never seen this game back in the day. But, apparently, it's a really good beat-em-up, and that's why I got it. So, Batman Forever, the arcade game. Yeah, it's like a really awesome beat-em-up. So, I got it for a real good price, finally. Finally wanted that. The last game now, technically the game really isn't rare or expensive, it's just the fact that it comes, I got the long box version now, I don't know, I haven't really heard too many people talk about this game, or ever, I don't see too many people even picking up Saturn games, period, but, um, this, this game is super hard to find in the long box, like, I dare you! <laughs> I, I will challenge you to go online somewhere and find this game in the long box. All you will find is pretty much just this version. So I got, I found this at the thrift a while ago, but the game is Virtual Fighter Remix. So I finally got it in the long box. And the thing is, I even tried to look at how much this game sells for, and I, there, there has not been like really any that have sold except for the one except me like I got this for like 30 bucks now I assume that's a good price because I think I remember seeing one maybe a year ago that went for like 150 150 dollars for this and some guy had to buy it now for like 30 I don't know if the guy even knew this game is really that hard to find but he titled it wrong he titled it Virtual Street Fighter Remix. So, I don't know if he really knew what the fuck he was talking about, but... Anyways, I got it for 30 bucks, which I think is a steal, because sometimes people list this version, the little jewel case version, as 30 bucks. But people, you know, they always want to talk about Panzer Dragoon is the rarest game. It might be the rarest game, but it's not the hardest game to find. They may have produced maybe less than all the other Saturn games. But this... This shit is hard to find, dude. I'm sorry. I have looked. Ever since I bought this game, I've gone online every day to see if somebody has posted it up. And I can't find one. Like, I'm telling you. 
this long box version is hard to find. Now, if you want to talk about rare, this is rare, my friends. This is hard to find. So I am happy to get this, and I'm happy to not have paid $150. I'm happy to have paid 30 bucks. That's it. All right. That was my pickups, guys. And I got some more stuff coming in. I'm selling a lot of stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, last thing. I'm going to put up like a thrift trip sometime. But in one of the thrift trips, in the next thrift trip, I found this jacket. This jacket. I found, you'll see it. It's the most weirdest turquoise, ugly looking jacket. So it was $70. Now, I, I didn't buy it for me. I bought it to resell. So it was $70. And it, <laughs> I've seen it. I got lucky. I've seen I bought it. I bought it for $69.99 and I've seen it on eBay go for eight hundred dollars. So I have it on eBay right now for like eight fifty. I have about eleven people watching it. Now I don't think I'm gonna sell it for eight fifty, but um if I don't sell it, I'll relist it at like six hundred. I already had somebody offer me six hundred for it. So I'll relist it at like six fifty, see if somebody will actually bid on it. And if not, I'll just sell it to the guy for six hundred. But that is a huge profit, son. So if you want to see that thrift trip, check it out. You'll see the jacket. I pretty much made, I don't know, 500% profit on it. So anyways, guys, that was it. Those are my pickups. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Once again, I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.